A severe thunderstorm stalled over the East Valley this morning, causing severe flooding that damaged homes and prompted evacuations at several mobile home parks. That flooding started about 1 o'clock this morning in Thermal and in Mecca. KMIR 6's Jessica Flores is live in Mecca and begins our Storm Watch team coverage. Jessica. I'm standing on Lincoln Street in Mecca, and this is one of the hardest hit areas. And as you can see, I'm actually standing in a flood that's still moving. It's about a foot deep and two feet deep at the deepest point here. It's a little bit deeper than it was earlier today. I was standing in exactly the same point earlier today, and it was only about four to five inches. That's because the family that owns the house behind me has created this uh, barrier to keep the water from spilling into the road here. And they're doing a lot of cleanup. Now around Mecca, there's mostly standing water. And so that's causing concerns because of the mosquitoes that that can attract. So really, the residents here are focusing on that cleanup. Heavy rains, flooded fields, four street closures, and sent water rushing into homes throughout Mecca. We had a cell a weather cell come over the community here and just unleashed uh, in the proportions we have never seen before in years. Uh, talking to most of the residents around here, they haven't seen this type of flooding in over seven years. Now residents left to deal with the mess left behind. Manuel Garcia makes his way through thick mud in front of his home. I've lived here for 12 years and this has never happened. The rain slammed Duralville Mobile Home Park along with several other nearby parks, leading emergency response teams to issue a voluntary evacuation for more than 900 residents. This trash can is catching all the rain dripping from the ceiling in Juan Paz's home. It drips down little by little since about 1 a.m. The flooding has created what looks like a river down Lincoln Street in Mecca. You can see it's covering my entire ankles and it's about four inches deep here. No uh, injuries to report. There's been no rescues. Uh, we have been uh, checking on motorists that are driving through the waters and making sure that they don't get stuck and uh, the ones that are getting stuck, we're helping them get out. The flooding interrupted water and power service at the park, but despite all the trouble, many residents are staying put and cleaning up. We're going to try to clean it little by little because who's going to help us? There's nobody to help us. In addition to the homes and streets that were flooded, a local elementary, Sal Martinez Elementary, also experienced flooding. Several classes there were flooded and they had to uh, send kids home early. And I'm told tomorrow they all should be repairing a lot of those rooms. And in terms of getting help for a lot of the flood victims, um, the people I talked to have said they really haven't gotten that help yet. The family here says they've really been doing all this cleanup themselves, trying to send the water down into a canal over there. Uh, but Riverside County says that they have set up the Emergency Operations Center, and that should help some of the flood victims. I'm Jessica Flores, live in Mecca for KMIR 6 News. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jessica.